Oh, you're so pretty. I love you. NANI?! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something a bit different for you. Today I've actually built myself a secondary PC for benchmarking and possible streaming when I'm ready to get to it. Let's see what this computer is all about. So basically I've been sitting here wondering, do I really want to risk having my main computer blow up because I'm testing out a graphics card or a specific component? I decided no, hell nah, that ain't gonna happen. So I built this computer. So basically I built this computer so I can test graphics cards safely without worrying about my main computer blowing up. And also I wanna use this PC as a secondary output for streaming. When I do get to this chance that I actually do stream, I can use this computer to stream and my main computer to game on. So everything looks really cool, but thoroughly I'm really happy with how much I spent on this and how well it performs realistically. So with that said, Let's get into the specs. First up, we've got the CPU. The CPU is a Ryzen 5 1500X, and I also got that with the Wraith Stealth Cooler that's in there right now, or the Spire Cooler, whichever one it is. I, I don't know the models. Who cares? It's a cooler, whatever. I paid $85 for those. Next up, I got the motherboard. That was the ASRock A320M HDV Rev 4.0. I bought this brand new, and this cost me $70. Next up inside the case, we've got the Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM. It's DDR4 at 2400 megahertz. It's 16 gigabytes. It's two times eight gigabyte sticks. And I picked that up for $75. Next up, the graphics card that's only in there temporarily is the R9 290X WinForce Edition, four gigabytes of VRAM. I paid $70 for this. So that was a ripper of a deal. <sighs> Next up, we've got the power supply. It's the Gamedius Astrap M1 650 watt power supply. It's RGB because that gives you extra frames and it's 80 plus certified. I really hope I didn't butcher that name at all. I picked this up for $70 as well. Then finally, when I went to go buy the actual CPU, the Ryzen CPU, the fellow that I bought it off was actually trying to get rid of some, um, some of his cases that he didn't want. And I asked him, how much do you want for it? And he said, you can have it for free. So I got this Thermaltake, uh, I think it's a Versa H15 uh, micro ATX case. It's black, it was free. So you can't really complain for a free case. It's got a side window and I like the small form factor cases. So I was pretty wrapped about that. So that literally cost me nothing. Then last up, I have to add in a big thanks to my best mate, Mike, or one of my best mates, Mike. He actually gave me two Corsair SP140 red fans. They're red, red LEDs that are inside this right now. And I like them. Thanks, Mike. So all up, this computer cost me about, how much did it cost me? <laughs> what the fuck? The total of the PC will be on the screen because I, I can't calculate right now. I can't remember how much it cost me. It was like 300 and something dollars. So it'll be up on the screen here somewhere. Boop. And I'm low key too lazy to actually get off my ass and go back to my room to check what the pricing was. <laughs> Best YouTuber ever. But yeah, with that said guys, um, I'm gonna run through some benchmarks as usual. I'm gonna show you what it can do. I'm gonna show you how, how good it can play some esports games that I normally benchmark. Let's get into the usual stuff. All right, so for whatever reason, Fortnite is just taking forever to update. I'm not, not sure why. I don't know what's going on with Fortnite because everything else updated perfectly fine, but Fortnite's taking years, so I'm not going to bother. We all know it's going to run Fortnite. My estimation is it's going to run on high settings at around like 80, 90, maybe even more average. I'm sure there's plenty more benchmark videos out there with the 99290X in there, so you can go check those out. So here we go. We've got the temperatures. So the um, CPU maxed out at 54 degrees. Mind you, it's not overclocked. I didn't overclock it um, just because I don't feel the need to overclock it, especially for what I'm doing with it. Um, we've got the hard drive running at 36 degrees. We've got the R9 290X that maxed out at 70 degrees, which is kind of expected. These cards get super, super, super hot. But um, I didn't really play with the fan settings at all. So I could probably drop those temperatures just by upping the fan speed, but I'm not gonna do that. And uh, look, RGB. Ooh, RGB. 
<laughs> it's working. It's good. I like it. Moving on. So pretty much all in all, I'm, I'm super wrapped about building this PC because I've always wanted a secondary PC to obviously benchmark and test out components, especially for my graphics card videos where I grab old components and I test them in games in 2019 and like the newer years and the newer games. So I'm super happy about this and I can finally use a secondary computer to stream and take all the stress off my main computer, even though my main computer is more than capable of streaming and gaming at the same time. But I prefer to have the maximum frames that I can get. So I'm honestly so happy about this computer. It's honestly, I had so much fun building this. Obviously I have fun building computers regardless, but I was super happy with the pricing that I got and just how it came out. So I'm super wrapped about that. Um, before I do end the video though, guys, I really do want to thank you all for over a hundred subscribers. I know I'm like a couple of days late. I think we hit a hundred subscribers on, maybe it was a Sunday or the Monday. I don't exactly remember. I think we're about 106, 107 now, and you guys just keep just keep showing your support. It's it's awesome, and I'm having an absolute blast. I can't wait to show the other projects I've got coming and just continue the flow of all the tech videos. Hopefully someday we can start doing some actual reviews that have been you know sponsored by bigger companies. That would be awesome to see. I'm really happy, so I appreciate you guys very much. Um, I'm going to try my best to get a better camera because I'm using my phone camera at the moment. I'm just on a bit of a tight budget. If you guys have any recommendations for good uh, vlogging cameras or just recording cameras in general that won't break the bank, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of Clifford here. <laughs> Clifford the big red dog. Let me know what you think of the computer and if you guys have built something similar or even if you run a dual PC streaming setup, let me know, I'd be interested to see. But um, regardless, I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Take it out. I can't get out. My fat ass can't even get out of this fucking, God damn it.